matters coming in right about you or there's things to be signed, legalities, would you understand? Yep. Okay. Because it's causing me a bit of aggro and maybe things are not going as smooth as what I wished. Yep. Right? But this is kind of showing me that I've drawn the wish card around about legal matters. So whatever you want the outcome to be, <coughs> that's probably what's going to happen. All right? It also shows me you've had a heart broken as well. You understand? Yeah. And so because I feel as if I'm kind of a bit dubious about other people and I'm careful who I let into my inner circle. And so for you, there's lots of healing coming in for your heart. Now, if it's no your mum, then there's a, there's a lady coming in who just comes in to hug you. And so I kind of feel she's a wee bit flustered as she comes in. And so it's like, she's a wee bit annoyed that no living as she was 100. Because she must have been a good age when she passes. Because she says she was raging that she would have been <laughs> loved till she was 100. Do you understand that? Uh -huh, yeah. Was she 96? Two years younger. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. Because she just says to me, in my 90s, and I was going to 100, and she I thought, she would get to 100. bastards Ooh. took me away with <laughs> <laughs> And she says, that was my goal in life, that was always my goal, right? She's a funny woman, though. Now, she also shows me that your mum, there's a lot of healing going to your mum. Do you yeah. understand that? Yeah. She says to me, sometimes your mum, things fly out her mouth before her brain engages. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. Because as your gran comes in, she says, just ignore her. Just ignore her, right? Obviously don't ignore your mommy. But no, okay. right. So that comes in there. Now, do you have a man in spirit that's close to you? Like a husband? Yep. Because as a man just comes in, he says, I'm her man. I'm her man. He says, I've left the best to last. <laughs> Sorry, I make everybody cry. You want to see my man in payday? <laughs> <laughs> so, he comes in and he says, I couldn't have asked for a better family and a better wife. That's what he says. So he was your soulmate, yep. you understand? He says, I was lucky to have you and you were lucky to have me. <laughs> he says, we nearly never met each other. Do you understand? Yep. He says, we nearly passed by each other. He says, and I was just lucky that I stopped. You know, and he brings that in for me. I feel that he was always good to you, yeah. right? And he says you were always good to him and you had a mutual respect. So I know that you're missing him loads and he misses you too. But when you pass over, and um, you're not going anywhere anytime soon, but when you pass over, he'll be the one waiting you, yeah. all right? Yeah. He's quite a romantic person, I have an old, do you understand? Because he just walked in here with a rose between his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> he's laughing, but it's a rainbow rose. I don't know why a rainbow rose. Oh, maybe it's gay now. Maybe it's gay, it's best wine. <laughs> Because he just says, you know, life's too short. We want to go zip, fucking sliding, let's go, you know. And so I feel you had a good life together, that's what I mean. And so do you have children or girls as well? Uh, I've got two stepdaughters with him. Um, that's fine. Because he just says, tell my girls I love them. I will. He says he was always good to you and he bought you a lot of stuff. <laughs> and you know, money can't buy happiness, but he says you're doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> James is a common name, but Jim or James, who's that? Grand, it's her grandson. My son. Oh, is it? <laughs> Still alive though? Yeah. He's because sick. he says, I'm watching James. You understand? Oh. Sorry. Oh. I'm watching James. He says he just melts his heart. <laughs> you know, so I think you've got a good looking boy. So it also looks like his dad, all right? Yeah, he does, <laughs> unfortunately. And so he says that as he comes in. He says he's quite a chunky man. I don't know what he means by that. He was when he was a baby. Okay. 
But so he's, he's kind of loving him, you know? Yeah. And he's getting rid of him, so I don't know if he dances oh, and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because he says he bounces about and dances. <laughs> it's, just, it's normally lassies that dance. He went, no, this one's a dancer. <laughs> you know, and so he brings that in for me. So I think he just adores his grandson. Yeah. So don't think that he's no seen him or Disney watch him. He absolutely does. Even though he's a man, he has jewellery as well. Do you understand that? No. Right, okay. Do you have a black and gold box belong to him then? No. It's like a wooden, goldy coloured box with black inlay. He's... He, he's medals. He's Med medals. medals? Okay. He just shows my fancy box with my st stuff in it. And if, it, if it's medals, then that's his, right? I thought it was jewellery that's in it. Um, but if it's medals, yes. then that's fair enough. So he says, um, you know, that's a, a remembrance of me. And so I don't know if you were going to give them away or something like his that. Mom. Has his mum got them? He, he gave them to his mum. Okay, that's fine. And so he talks about giving them away, right? But I kind of felt as if I wanted to keep them for my grandmen. Right, yeah. And so maybe the grandmen will get them, mm -hmm. right? Because he kind of says, oh, I just give them back to him. Do you get me? Maybe ask the mums, just say, you know, you've never got to believe this, but keep them through the night. <laughs> Give me the medals back. I've got to graduate. And hopefully it'll know. Well, she'll see it on fucking TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> it was if I wanted to hand the medals to my grandson. Alrighty. But please take your dad, your husband's love, or your husband's love. Thanks very much for all the way to speak to you.